Hello everyone. So today I have decided to redo the Foxbury Commons lot. I blanked on what it's called. It's Larry's Lagoon. It's right there in front of me. So tore it down and started all over. And really, it's just because I've never played in Foxbury, or at least gone to school there. And one of my sims in a game I am playing, I am debating about sending them here. I'm saying debating because I really like Rochester and the vibes there. So it's hard, but at the same time, I think Foxbury would be a fun university to play in. So decided, well, no matter what, Larry's Lagoon really needs to be remodeled. So I went ahead and did that. Now, Foxbury is more modern, so I kept with that theme. And, of course, added a whole bunch of stuff from multiple packs. So this is not a specific pack build. Eventually, in my Towny Refresh series, I will get to the University pack and Barchester itself. However, this is not a townie lot, so it won't be redone in that series anyway. If you have watched that in the past, you know that I'm kind of hoping to go through and redo the community lots and all of the other empty lots as well. And eventually I will be uploading that save file. It's going to be a while, guys. It's not anything I'm going to be uploading anytime soon. But if you want to follow along and recreate all of it, everything will be available on the gallery to download into your own saves. So, as you can see here, I kind of went through and decided what I wanted where and planned things out. And per usual, halfway through the build, I changed my mind and things are a little bit different. Now, I will say, these rooms I have on the second floor, I always intended on splitting up somehow. And I do later on. So, but it was just kind of a general idea of, okay, I want these outer rooms to be here and then as I put things in them and figured out how much space I needed was how I really created the rooms later on. So I also wanted this to have a nice modern open feel and I think I pulled that off. I will say I wasn't sure what doors to use. I wasn't sure where to put them at the time. I struggled a little bit with this lot and then I realized I wanted to put a telescope, the big one, in and completely forgot. So that is not included in this build. I don't know. I debated about maybe adding it to the roof. If you want to do that, go right ahead. I might do that in my own gameplay. But I didn't do it. I don't know. Either that or I may use the tool mod to move that somewhere. Because it needs to be somewhere on this lot. Or on this campus, right? Part of the reason that I wanted to go through and redo this lot in particular. Is because I... I'm designing this world for the game I'm playing using lots I have redone and built already. 
And at one point, I tore down the Brychester Library and put in a park. And I like that park. It's a good date spot. So, with the new pack coming, or the, yeah, the new expansion pack, I really wanted that park. So, Brychester doesn't have that library. So, one thing I am adding to this build will be a library. I also did do a reno, oh gosh, it might be almost a year ago now, for the Brychester Student Union. I'll link to the video above and you'll see. You can check out that build. So I redid that one and that has a library and all that stuff in it. So I wanted to do it with Foxbury as well. I I'm actually a little excited. That's why I said I'm like I'm trying to force myself to play here. I mean, my sim's going to university, period. But I I just have never played in this, you know, in this one. I always do like the history majors because honestly, that is something I wanted to do when I graduated high school and I was talked out of. So you know, it's something that still interests me. So every time I like play Sims, I want to send them to Brychester and history. <laughs> That's one reason that I have started doing legacy type challenges because it keeps me from doing that with every Sim. Though I tend to not send them to university at all in that case. So yeah, I think. This one I will be playing is a legacy, and that's why I'm like, I, I need to just send her here and have her have fun. So, see, the problem with my legacies, too, is I play them on long lifespan. I know I'm crazy, right? But I'm not in a hurry. I'm not, you know, doing this for YouTube, so... This is for my own gameplay, and I don't care if it takes me, you know, 20 years to complete it. Not that I'm like really have a goal. It's just more of getting me to play with different aspects of The Sims games than just doing the same thing over and over again. But yeah, so that's why I'm thinking, you know, let's send her to Foxbury. All right, so I wanted to do something interesting here with the roof. So you can see me kind of playing with this. I have not really edited this video. Pretty much all I did was take out stuff that maybe I forgot to hit pause and my cat bothered me. So, because I want you to see me doing all of this. And it didn't end up to be re a really long build, which surprised me. At the same time, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, yeah, it's not that surprising. Because I paused this quite a bit as I played with various things. <laughs> So if you see something just kind of pop up and it's there, it's probably because I forgot to unpause it and kept going. So I didn't want to go back and redo it. Because what I'll do sometimes if it looks like it's something that's going to be difficult, I will pause it, kind of figure out how I'm going to do it, and then show you guys how it's done. Because sometimes that stuff can take me an hour to an hour and a half to figure out. <laughs> Not often, but occasionally. So, yeah. So, yeah. Sorry, not sorry. It's the process. Also here, we do have, you know, the two levels. This open area. Oh, this open area. It worked really well at first. And then it just kept giving me problems. So I finally kind of figured out a way to do it. And I liked it better than what I ended up doing. So there's that. And because yeah, originally I wanted like this all open. So you'd look down on everything. But then I decided the stairs made more sense anyway for this kind of overhang area. So... That was part of it. And then later on, I'm trying to 
paint the walls and it just kept putting the floor back in. So I had to play with that. I got it to work. Everything's good. Everything looks pretty. But yeah. And the other problem I had was columns. I didn't like any of them. So I just built my own. Well, I know it's not ideal for gameplay to have these kind of empty spaces, but if you play with the walls down, you don't notice them. I play with like the third walls or, you know, so you can only see a couple of them. And yeah, so sometimes I notice that stuff. Sometimes I don't, but I think where they're located, I tried to keep them kind of where they're not in the way. So, all right. So here I decided to do kind of the just dining gathering area for tables or with tables, not for tables. <laughs> tables don't gather. They're objects. So that was kind of my thought process with this. And then I wanted this area to be like a seating area that's just, you know, they're just different areas to gather. Now, that being said, did The Sims use them when I playtested it? Not really, but that's okay. You can use them when you're playing. That's the point. So, also put in vending machines because, you know, they don't always have somebody working that food counter, right? Sometimes you're hungry and you need food. And I did not put any type of, like, cooking anything in here except for some coffee and tea that you'll see later on. Just because. Uh, I also here really like that wallpaper and realized I need to do school colors. So you'll see that kind of thrown throughout the build. Here you can see I put a different wallpaper up in what will be the gym. I was seeing which one I liked better and just let them sit there and kind of marinate in my head. Uh, I did decide to use what is by the vending machines and that's kind of scattered throughout the build. And I think it's cool. I, the colors work really well for Boxberry. So I thought, why not? It looks good. I will say it took me a bit because, as I said, I usually play in, you know, at Brightchester University and I'm decorating for that. It really took me a minute to be like, no, Foxberry is red. Foxberry is red. <laughs> Foxberry is red. Oh, uh, it was bad. It was bad, guys. You'll see me occasionally flip back to the wrong colors on things and then you'll see me change them. So the other thing is, again, just trying to make this look like kind of a student union vibe. So lots of reused Boxberry signs because we really don't have much decor for university. I'm going to go hunt down personally some CC if there's any out there to decorate this a little bit more with different items. But, yeah, I did try to give you the, you know, college vibe with, you know, the college stuff all over the place. So, did what I could with what I had available for, you know, in-game only items. So, here you can see this is where, like, the coffee tea thing is. And I spent quite a bit of time trying to find the coffee rack <laughs> I actually paused that at one point. I could not find that thing. I need to favorite it. I use it so often. If you didn't know, if you have, I believe it's my Better Build Buy mod, you can favorite items you use all the time. And they're in a nice little menu for you. Uh, so yeah. All right. So here I decided to add a fireplace and, you know, some seating and I couldn't make up my mind what I wanted to do. I wanted, as I said, this to look like a student union. And when I went for my master's degree, I went to Eastern Michigan for about a year and a half. I didn't finish. But their student union just has really nice, like, modern-looking, you know, 
a modern looking vibe, lots of seating areas. And I wanted to recreate that. That being said, I also did look up like some student unions online, just kind of so it wasn't just based off my own memory. So I was kind of trying to recreate that in a way. And I think I did pretty good with what I had available. I would love to see the Sims team offer um, this type of modular seating that would actually like do the wrapping. So it looks kind of like a snake. I think that would be cool because that's kind of what I really wanted. So again, this may be something I'll go back and replace this with some CC in my own game. I'm going to try to start taking pictures and posting them on my Instagram. I haven't been doing much with it, but I really need to start doing that. And it may include pictures of stuff that I do with these builds on my own, you know, in my own gameplay where I add CC, things like that. So if you don't all, all bleh, already follow me on Instagram, it is building Sims YT. And I'm going to try to start posting there more often because, yeah, I believe I do have a have it listed in the description box below, too, in case you forgot to write it down or forgot it. I need to look it up. It should be in every video description. All right. So here, just kind of working on the gym and figuring out how I want it to be set up and all that fun stuff. It's not a very big gym. I didn't want it to be huge. I didn't go all out like I did with the Brychester build with that one has a sauna. I thought about it, but decided not to. There is room here if you wanted to create a basement. Might do it too. Like I said, we'll just see how I feel when I start playing in it. Where you could put like a sauna and, you know, that type of thing. But I just didn't, you know, it's okay. It does, you don't need it. I found that when I did university play in Brychester with that lot, I didn't leave the university very much. Which, I mean, is a good thing at the same time because we know with The Sims University you don't have a lot of time to do much. So, though I have stopped doing like four or five classes in a term because, yeah, I've just tried to mentally say, you know what, two weeks. Two weeks is a term for me, like a year, you know? So I try to bring my classes down to where I've got enough where it's, you know, you go four, four sets of two weeks, I can't remember exactly how I ended up doing that. I think I think what I'll do, I usually do, is just do like one, one week where it's like one or two classes and then three the next one or something. So it's, it's I'll have to figure that out and I'll let you guys know. <laughs> um, yeah, because I, I want to extend this experience, okay? As I said, I play on longer lifespan. And I actually enjoy playing university. I liked going to school. And it's probably part of the reason I owe so much in student loans right now. I like learning. And when I started university, YouTube might have been in its first year if it existed. Yeah, guys. If you didn't know, I'm old. Okay, I'm not that old, but I'm older. Uh, so, yeah. I remember a time before YouTube. YouTube didn't exist until I was an adult. So, but I enjoy building in The Sims. So I hope that you guys don't care about my age and just appreciate the builds. All right. So here's the library. And I wanted to create kind of more of a cozy vibe, but modern that was difficult to do in The Sims. So, lots of bookshelves using the book nook pack. And then I just wanted to put, like, study tables in there. 
I also added the couple of chess tables because I thought that would be a good spot for them. You know, your library area should be quiet. And then, you know, up on the second level, it's games. It's fun. I also decided this would be a good spot for a stage and a debate stage. And as we go through all of that, you will see my struggles with the stages. They hated me. This is where I started pausing and doing things because they hated me. But you'll see that eventually. <laughs> all right. So this next room is the robotics room. And I wanted at least four of these um, in here. I might have been able to fit in a couple more, but decided not to play with that too much. Um, but I got the four in there. And then I'm going to be honest with this build. I would go back to rooms and go back to areas because I just, I, I couldn't seem to finish one before going on to the next. So you'll see me kind of change things around. Um, for example, the library I come back to, I put this stuff in it that goes away eventually. Like I decide, no, I'm not going to do that. Um, eventually these two, the jewelry and the archeology span table actually disappear from the belt completely. Yeah, I just, I, I don't know. I struggled with what to put in because I knew things that I wanted in the build. And I was starting to realize that I was running out of room. Now, that being said, I sort of created more room. And I love it. I loved what I did. You'll see that later, too. So here I am working on this stage. And I thought this would be a cute spot. Don't know why, just thought it would. And so I start working some more and go, okay, let's move over to this room. So I create this art room and I know it's not tech school, which is what Foxbury is really supposed to be, I believe. But I'm like, you know what? We're going to say they have an art group anyway. So build this cute art room. I love it. I think it's a very nice kind of art room. You can do an art club. Lots of options here. And that's really what I wanted the student union to be is something that maybe you could say, hey, I want an art club. I want a robotics club. I want, I mean, you can join those, I believe, for the robotics, but they don't have an art club. So I just thought that'd be fun. Debate team, you know, stuff like that. And so that's kind of my thought process with this. And you can see here, building this debate area, I think, I, I want to say I had to quit building right there because I had to go to work. But that's why it kind of cut. But you can see I put in stages. And I think that's what it was, was I had to, no, I didn't have to go to work. I paused it to play with the stages and then I had to go to work. <laughs> and forgot that I needed to go back and redo all that. So the stages are there. But you'll see me play with those a little more, I believe. So here I wanted to add the research computers because, as I said, I tore down the library in town. So that's one reason I ended up moving the gemology table and the archaeology table. They did go into another room for a while. And I moved them again and then deleted them. So here is the computer room. So, you know, kind of self-explanatory. I will say decor-wise, I didn't put curtains on anything. I also didn't put up much decor. Again, I really wanted to keep this like college vibey. And that's hard to do when you have, you know other types of decor in there all the time. So, I, yeah, it, it's not as decorated as normal, but I did put in some really cute, like, focal areas, I'm going to call them. You'll see what I mean later on. All right, so here, again, still playing with the stage. <laughs> Finally got that to work for me. Uh, put in a game table. 
you know, I just wanted this to be kind of a cool gathering spot. And of course, The Sims, when you play test this, they go to the computers and the robotics table. That's that's about it, you know. They have all this other fun stuff and they don't use it. But as I said, it gives you options in your gameplay. All right, so this is what I mean by the focal areas. So I created these fun little seating areas to break up this wall a little more. And I really like how those turned out. Same thing over here. And I, I think that was a good use of this blank-ish wall. I didn't want it to be just doors, but it had to have something. So here, creating the stage space, decided to use some just fun, funky lights. And added these lights to those focal areas. I thought that was cute. I, I think... I'm hoping, you know, you agree with me as I, I like how this turned out. I think it's interesting looking. So that was my hope is at least it's not blah to play in. All right. So here, oh, I do want to say I installed the better exceptions mod. I'm going to probably be deleting it because for building, it drove me nuts. It kept telling me I had problems with, I can't, fabricator. I'm like, I need to build. So, <laughs> it's still in my game right now, but it might, it might be removed. All right, so here, I decided to move the art room upstairs. I wasn't going to originally use this third floor area, but I figured out I had room for a staircase and it's unused space. So, yeah. So I went ahead and did it. I like it. I'm really happy with how that turned out. I think it's good use of this space. I do like that it's also open to below. And that it separates that debate area from the rest of that open space. So I think that worked out really well. I did put a candle making and woodworking table up here. There is room if you want to put like the gemology table up there as well. I was thinking more of that's the craft area. That was the vibe. So I ended up putting the fabricators here because I'm like, you know, modern university tech school. We need the fabricators. And then I believe I do add one of the recyclers in there as well. So... Here, this room is going to be your kind of multimedia. I pictured this as maybe somebody who, a sim that maybe you're going to school for, you know, something. But this is going to be your marketing, social media, that type of stuff. I kind of looked at what Foxberry offered because I don't know it as well. And I'm like, you know... They offer some things. They need creativity. Some of it you need other skills for. So I tried to look at what they offered and what skills were needed for things. But then also just stuff that maybe you send your sim to university because you want, you know, to play in it. But you really want them to build their, you know, social media empire instead or something. So that's an option. So I don't think it's a degree here correct me if I'm wrong but you can kind of pretend it is this way and that was the thought process behind putting that room in so here I'm just you know kind of finishing up the build figuring out little details here and there after I'm done recording I do go back and add a few more accent walls in and a few other little things. I just tweak some things, add a little more landscaping that I didn't do in the build. Uh, just because all I did was put bushes around the outside. So I'm like, uh, that's boring to watch. <laughs> I mean, if you guys want me to, I'll include it. Um, but, you know, things like that. And just kind of, you know, finished off the build. But it didn't miss much. So... The other thing with this is this fountain area. I really wish that they would let us do fountains lower. 
like plat on platforms lower. I wanted that to have a very clean look, and I didn't want to mess around with the terrain tool. So it's just a basic fountain, but my original hope was to make it, you know, sunken down and interesting, but that didn't work. It still doesn't look too bad. That would be a good space if you don't want the fountain to put the telescope. I thought about doing that, but because I have the tool mod and it'll be my own game, I'm just going to throw it somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> and if you didn't know the legacy challenge i am doing for myself i am planning on taking that world and uploading it eventually to an extent so i i think what i'll do is once i'm done with it copy it and take out like anything that would be a personal identifier for people i know because i like to play that way so yeah but i'll let you know when it's finally up and ready all right so that is the finished build and i'm going to let you guys take a look at the photos and i will be right back All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this build. I loved doing it. It was so much fun. Let me know if you want me to redo any other of the lots in Foxbury. Just a hint though, I've already done the dorms. So at least one. I did one side and I'm just using it on both. But that will be coming in a few weeks. But yeah, that one's already done. So anyway, Next week's build is going to be a challenge build where I build a starter home for under 10,000 simoleons. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that. All right. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you next Friday. Bye now.